Hello, I'm Sinead and this is your Week in Tech. This week we're filming from General Assembly's brand new campus in Aldgate East. I'm here with Julian. Julian, tell us a bit more. So, General Assembly has been in London for the past four years, carrying on its mission to grow a global community of individuals and empowered to pursue work they love. We're very excited to open this brand new space to welcome a community and to continue teaching the most in-demand skills in tech, business, design and data. Plentific has raised £2 million in funding, backed by Property Innovation Labs and other tech investors. Echobox has landed $3.4 million in funding from Mangrove Capital Partners and Local Globe. It's a strong meet for Cambridge-based startups, with Kiss and Herb raising $1 million to continue developing its agricultural technology enterprise platform. And cybersecurity firm Darktrace has landed a huge $65 million in a round led by global investment firm KKR. Google owns DeepMind Health has collaborated with the National Health Service in a partnership with Moorfields Eye Hospital NHS Foundation Trust. The aim is to investigate how machine learning algorithms could help to analyse eye scans and detect eye diseases that cause blindness. Mustafa Suleiman, co-founder of DeepMind, said, Detecting eye diseases as early as possible gives the patients the best possible chance of getting the right treatments. Google has bought French startup Moodstocks, a company that has developed machine learning based image recognition technology. This comes just two weeks after Twitter announced its acquisition of machine learning outfit Magic Pony. The deal with Moodstocks is just one example of the growth of artificial intelligence companies in Paris. And it provides an addition to Google's ever growing machine learning services. In other overseas tech news, organ donation will be promoted in the US through Apple's iOS 10 update. The Health app allows users to register for organ, tissue and eye donation. Once registered, user data is sent directly to the National Donate Life Registry. It was a sad loss for Wales this week, but the Euros are not over yet. If you're looking for a great place to watch the football final this weekend, the Matchpoint app is just what you need. The free app will give you a list of great pubs showing any sport you want to watch, from rugby to boxing to this week's football. You may even bag yourself a free drink with over 500 pubs running exclusive offers during the Euros. And finally, Just Eat customers could soon find their food being delivered by robots. The company have recently joined with Starship Technologies to trial self-delivery robots on the streets of London. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.